Good morning, children from St. Paul's. I'm Ms. Kelly. We are here today for our Sunday school lesson. We're going to begin with our song, I Am a Christian. If you remember, we sing this many times. We go faster every time. Here we go. I am a C. I am a C-H. I am a C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N. And I have C-H-R-I-S-T in my H-E-A-R-T. And I was L-I-V-E-E-T-E-R-N-A-L-L-Y. One, two, three. I am a C. I am a C-H. I am a C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N. And I have C-H-R-I-S-T in my H-E-A-R-T. And I was L-I-V-E-E-T-E-R-N-A-L-L-Y. One, two, three. I am a C. I am a C-H, I am a C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N, and I have C-H-R-I-S-T in my H-E-A-R-T, and I want L-I-V-E-E-T-E-R-N-A-L-L-Y, one, two, three, I am a C, I am a C-H, I am a C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N, and I have C-H-R-I-S-T in my H-E-A-R-T, and I want L-I-V-E-E-T-E-R-N-A-L-L-Y, one, two, three, I am a C, I am a C-H, I am a C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N, and I have C-H-R-I-S-T in my H-E-A-R-T, and I want L-I-V-E-E-T-E-R-N-L-L-Y, Phew! That was fast! And one more slowly for our little ones to keep up. I am a C. I am a C-H. I am a C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N. And I have C-H-R-I-S-T in my H-E-A-R-T. And I will L-I-V-E-E-T-E-R-N-A-L-L-Y. Great! I hope you were able to sing along. And next, we pray together. Some people fold their hands like this. I fold my hands like this. Some people keep their eyes open and look around. I like to close my eyes so that I can focus on my words for God and to hear what God has to say. Here we go. <sighs> Gracious and loving God, thank you so much for all the amazing things you have given us. You give us our lives. And thank you for our moms and dads and our grandmas and grandpas and cousins and friends and brothers and sisters. Thank you for our teachers and coaches and our teammates. And thank you for all the people in our society who help us stay well and strong so that we can continue to grow in God's word. And God, we ask you for help. We need the safety and security and promises of hope that only you can give. We make mistakes all the time and we need your help to get things right. We pray in the name of your son Jesus, who you sent to live among us. Amen. Now, today's Bible story, again, is from our beautiful Read With Me Bible. I have my special bookmark in the right place, so I'm going to open the page. Oh, look at this. The name of this story from the Bible is God Promises to Abraham. It is from the book of Genesis in chapters 12, 15, and 17. Look, God said to Abraham, leave your country, your people, and your father's household. Go to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you, and I will make your name great. So here in the 
picture is Abraham. He is sitting on the ground outside of his tents. People in that time and place lived in great big tents. On the next page, look. Abraham was 75 years old when he left his home. He took his wife, Sarah, his nephew, Lot, and all their possessions and people. They set out for the land of Canaan. So in this picture, we see a camel and Abraham is leading that camel. It's got a whole lot of stuff piled on there and there is his wife, Sarah, riding on the camel. Looks like he's taking a flock of sheep with him too. Turning the page. Oh my, look. When Abraham was 99 years old, God appeared to him and said, walk with me and do what is right. You will be the father of many nations. Look up at the heavens and count the stars. That's how many children you will have. God also said to Abraham, as for Sarah, your wife, I will bless her and give her a son and you will call him Isaac. So we see that Abraham is standing out in the wide open space and he is looking at the sky and he sees all of the stars. To me, it looks like those stars are so many that you couldn't even count them. That ends our story today. So in the Old Testament, in this story that we have about Abraham, God has given him an amazing promise. A promise that even though Abraham is really old and his wife Sarah is also quite old, they're going to have so many children, grandchildren and great-grandchildren, oh my, that they will be like all of the stars in the sky. That promise almost seems too good to be true to Abraham because he doesn't have a child yet, but it, he will. God promises that he will be a great nation. Thank you for being here today for today's lesson. I will see you again soon. Have a great week. Goodbye.